we are we are taking auspicious days for the future that is called a muhurta the ganita that you need to have a mathematical from the kali yuga there is a mathematical things that formulas for the for the tithi uh, for the tithi is we know that we have uh, two forms two types of tithis okay one is a shukla paksha that is the waning moon and one is the krishna paksha that is the waxing moon so how do you calculate the tithi from the beginning how many eclipses are there so this will come from the kali yuga itself mm -hmm. oh, so you oh, need oh. to take the kali yuga and in in our uh, uh, surya siddhanta uh, it's explained very very beautifully about uh, about how do you make the um, calculations from the date that's what astrologers have done before and we know this days we know this days there is a two kinds of calculations anyone knows what is the books available in the market the huge uh, uh, how do you say controversial dates that when they were giving to uh, uh, towards the uh, gochara so everyone is good evening om shari bari vinna ji namaste uh, harshini welcome Uh, Chin, namaste, welcome. Chin. Swati, welcome, welcome. Shashank ji, namaste, namaste. Namaste, Shama ji. Namaste, namaste, Bharat ji. So, just we were talking about uh, about uh, uh, classes, how it is, and then uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Satish ji said that it's uh, wonderful because he don't know anything. He don't know two Rajis or Nakshatras, uh, houses, Panchabudas. It's the best class to start with. That's why, and then I'm just explaining him. uh what are the what are the where i left right now is about we have two kinds of calculations do you know uh, very famous we have always controversy in south india maybe in the north india too anyone two kinds of calculations for what uh, to see the panchangas to see the what panchanga panchanga oh okay mm -hmm. In, i don't know sorry what's the panchanga again okay pancha angam pancha is five angam means the limbs of the time we will cover this one also there is a type um, five kind uh, types of uh, time frame that whenever we go for the uh, day reading for example today is uh, uh, i will open the chart and we tell every day as an astrologer we must read this one okay in the beginning i was mentioning if you go to the temple the temple uh, priest will ask what your name and nakshatra and everything so before that one he will explain exactly where we are standing and the, at the time he will explain i explain in the first class itself okay today today the tithi uh, vara nakshatra you know the years today what is the year of the what is the name of this year in hindu calendar lava lava p l V A Plava, okay. Plava Nama Samvatsara. The name of the year Hindu calendar right now is Plava Samvatsara, and the moon faces the 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 sorry the sun faces. You know the sun faces. It says south direction or the north direction. Where the sun moves? Is it above the equator or ago above, above uh, the below the equator? The sun today above the equator. Above the equator, we call the north moving phase. Okay, that's called Uttara Ayana. It's also in the class we already took this one. I'll say so Uttara Ayana. So the first name we need to tell about the 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 year of um, the name of the year that is Plava Nama Samvatsare. That is the year, the name. The second one is that we need to tell about the sun phase. It's going to the north direction. That is called Uttara Ayana. Okay, then we need to mention the which. Uh, Uh, uh what is the name of the month this month what is the name of this month what is the name of this month chaitra chaitra masa exactly how do we know this one because whenever the full moon happens the moon holds one of the nakshatra and we are giving the name for the month whenever sun crosses the the aries or taras everything then the every every month there there must be uh, new moon day okay whenever the moon phase crosses over that exactly on the new moon day then we are giving the name for the month so the chitra nakshatra the chitra nakshatra falls in the uh, 
Tula Rashi, that is the uh, Libra. So sun must be in the Aries sign. So exactly 180 degrees. So it's called Chitra month. So this month is the Chitra, the month of this one. And what is the moon phases? Is it a Sukla Paksha? It's a waning moon or waxing moon? What we are facing today? This is waning moon. Waxing. Waxing Krishna Paksha. Krishna Triyodasi. Today is the Krishna 13th, 13th day of the moon. It's a Krishna Triyodasi, 13th day. What is the day today? Saturday. And what is the nakshatra today? Anyone knows where is the moon exactly today? What is the nakshatra? Nakshatra is Ravati. He is in the Ravati nakshatram. And there is yoga and karma comes and Vishakamba karma and Gajagasri uh, Garija karna. Karna and yoga will come in the later classes. So beginning, this is a, uh, from Panchanka's uh, Bariji. So every day we must we must say this one as an astrologer. When you wake up after a, uh, after a shower and uh, you play some meditation or you give a thanks to the God, then you need to tell this one. The, Tatiti, Vara, Nakshatra, Yoga, and Karma. This is called Panchanga. The, the, the time is divided by five parts. One is Titi, and the Vara, Nakshatra, Yoga, and Karma. Vara is the day. Nakshatra is the 27, uh, 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 what is consolence? And const, const, constellation? Constellation, yeah. 27 constellation we have from the Ashwini and Bharani. And there is a mathematical calculation between sun and moon that is a yoga and karma. And in Tamil Nadu, we have a huge problem about uh, how to fix the uh, fix the dates. So if you if you go for some temple, they will celebrate the Sunny Payarchi. We call the Saturn's transit earlier, and uh, the same temple they will celebrate one more time in the uh, later uh, weeks or later months. Because of they are following two kinds of panchangas. The, the panchanga is nothing but logarithm. If I'm say, if I know the word exactly, that there is a book in mathematical. They use the logarithm. Am I right? The logarithm book. Yes. Yes. And th there is always calculation there. Is it? I'm not aware of this one, but I know the book exactly because uh, once I saw when one of the guy was using mathematics, they use the there is they use the book. It's always uh, something, uh, the mathematical calculation behind this one, the logarithm book, yes? So every year, every year, when the sun uh, 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 passes through the Aries sign, they will make Panchanga for every year. They will make the logarithm book for every year. It's available. It's available in the market, uh, in, in, in Sanskrit, in Tamil. Uh, or Telugu also and Hindi also. It's very, very famous in India. You can just go and buy anywhere in a spiritual shop or uh, buy it online also. It's called Panchanga. So they have calculations for 365 days, usually 360 days. This is called Panchanga. And they mention every day what this today is, the day, Vara, Yoga, and Karma. And we have two calculations as I... Uh, I mentioned before, one is called the Pambu Panjanka or 108, 108 Panjanka. That is calculation is different from the Drik Panjanka. Uh, Drik is after the clarification, after the, uh, the mathematical clarification, they made the other Panjanka in India. So most of the new astrology, new age astrologers, okay, uh, like let's say like 50, 60 years before they started to have this uh, Panjanka, so the calculation. And before that one, they used to have uh, other calculations, panchankas. So that's why we have uh, the, the problem. Somewhere, someone left the formula, or they forgot the formula, or they don't know how to derive it. Now that NASA came, now we have uh, 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 Indian uh, scientific, uh, scientific Academy there, and they, are, they know they have the telescopes, and they have very beautiful uh, equipment to see where is the planet uh, sits and which degree they are in. So be based on the, the uh, uh, arbitrary, the based on the laboratory that we are uh, using the Drik Panjanga. Most of the most of the Panjangas nowadays they are following the Drik Panjanga. So what we are 
i am what i am uh, using is drik panjang that is after uh, there is a two kinds of uh, uh, bible you know i don't know this i hear this one oh fast fast oh the oh. thank you valarmuthu uh, that there, there, there is two kinds of uh, um, bible one is old one one is the new one what is the name of the new one how do they call it the new testament new testimony yeah? testament testament new okay testament. New, new testament okay like we have the same panjanga the old one and new one so most of the astrologer they accept the new one because uh, you can see you were uh, through your naked eye where is the planets are before there was a calculation there is a formula somewhere they missed it and then that's why we have a, a different between the old and the new one so we are learning it based on the old one no we are, we are new new one? one new one new one and the new one what's the name again sorry d r i k drik i will write it down uh, in the in the chat room uh, drik pancha d r i k drik panchang panchang means panch means five ang means body the part part of the body so five part of the time frame drik panchang okay any questions any questions so far now today నక్షత్రం అదే రాశిలో వచ్చేలేదు కదా బ్యూటిఫుల్ బ్యూటిఫుల్ జీ దట్ మీన్స్ దట్ యు ఆర్ స్టడింగ్ సంథింగ్ దట్ గుడ్ బికాస్ ద ఆకాశ ఇస్ ఎవ్రీ వర్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ ద ఆకాశ ఓన్లీ ఆల్ ద ఫోర్ ఎలిమెంట్ కేమ్ అవుట్ Uh-huh, uh-huh. so the it ha, it, the akasha has uh, the, the element went through all the all the charts so from the uh, from the aries to uh, pisces there is akasha uh-huh, okay, akasha okay. bound all the elements okay. all other all elements other elements now correct correct so because but, uh, because every fire you have said uh, you have uh, you told me that uh, i mentioned are... this one yeah first is fire second is prithvi then vayu and jal no then i seen that sky is not mentioned anywhere that is why i ask you good 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 observation ji good observation good observation because of the akasha is bounding all the other uh, elements that's uh, that's why we don't have for the for the specific houses okay okay guru ji okay thank you okay so i'm going to start from the new one it will be a very short lesson and little bit uh, uh, mathematical will be there Uh, maybe it looks complicated don't get complicated okay but i try to explain it then we go for the chart reading if the time permits how do you look at the chart and what you see actually what you see and one more thing there is uh, someone uh, using mac and uh, and whoever using the mac okay i mac or ipad uh, sorry i uh, i book uh, it doesn't work this application will not uh, work the jagannatha ora will not take and the pvrg whoever made this one he is uh, working on to uh, for the for the apple also because apple store has the huge restrictions uh, if you want to give some applications free or something but they have a, a lot of restriction to get through this one but more than 2 3 years he is working on this one i know uh, for sure that at one point we will get this one whoever doesn't have this one that you can use the drik panchan but for jahannatha hora you need it or uh, there is other uh, softwares which is available in the market also that we need to pay minimum 200 to 300 dollars like uh, kala there is a software called kala is also very good uh, some other softwares also uh, otherwise just don't spend that much money on this one go for the uh, minimal laptop or windows so install the jahannatha for app it has l- huge information in it believe me it has a lot of information if you want to work on one chart by the hand it takes weeks and months if you are really expert it takes week or a month it takes to be calculated things 
so jay haura will give the uh, will give the result immediately so i recommend you to install this one if you don't have a uh, windows or uh, then you need to find the way to get the windows there because this software will, works only on the windows so you're saying that uh, so so i have a mac as well so i can't install jay haura so what i've been doing is i've been looking at the charts on trick panchang website yeah or there is uh, I, i think there is astro sage as well yes and the manga app is also available yes so is that is that enough is that okay no it is not enough ji a lot mm-hmm. of information is missing there i'm also oh, using it for, for the for the prashna um, but uh, but the calculation i don't see that that much um, perfect with if you uh, if you you know it then you can run the virtual board for your mac so windows and as well as mac Uh, I'm 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 not IT actually so okay but there is a way also for the for the Mac to run the to the Windows also okay okay I'll see if I can do something about yeah it. yeah the Thank virtual you. board virtual uh, they call this virtual board or something virtual desktop yeah virtual desktop yeah okay thank you for mentioning thank you thank you G thank you okay so we, I have, uh, yeah I have one question before yes. uh, we enter if you don't mind yeah. so <clears throat> so gra- so we have been looking at graha drishti yeah uh, so rasis also have aspects right? yes can you explain a little bit on that i and not graha drishti is also not completely clear to me but i'm hoping that it will get clear take, going forward but the only thing that we have seen with regards to rasis is movables aspecting uh, fixed except the one that is very closest to it and uh, fixed aspecting the movables except the one that is closer to it uh, and duals aspecting duals that is all i understand but i don't understand more than that okay the uh, i hope the school uh, our students are with us right if you have any doubt about the shashank ji's question uh, he can explain it again he has two questions and with a similar uh, same uh, matter okay the topic is one the aspects what is aspect you look at something okay you look at something that is called aspect you are looking at something that is you personally that is planet okay i will come to the uh, final part one by one the house aspect okay even though no one is there but house has the aspect to the other houses that we saw in the previous lesson yes 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 okay the rasi aspects is always have the permanent influences remember this one very important question uh, sashank ji rasi aspects mm-hmm. has always have permanent influences of the other houses if there is any planet if there is any planet in it also having the permanent influences to the other houses where the rasi aspects can i go to the chart if i can find the chart then i can play it huh? yeah okay that's much easy for others to understand yeah yeah okay just a second i try to work out this is the rasi aspects okay we know this aries and taras and gemini and cancer aries this house always has the influences or aspect to the leo scorpio and aquarius right right any doubt here uh okay so i think 
there are two kinds so the one that you are showing is all the sir rajis no these are these are movables chara rajis right yeah chara rasi is always suspect the uh, uh, stir rasis yeah okay all right yeah yeah right okay except to the next one yeah okay if there is any planet if there is any planet placed here in the aries let's say today is uh, uh, sun is here then sun has always always influences the leo scorpio and aquarius is that clear so when you say it influences leo scorpio aquarius does it influence the how uh, does it influence only the rashi or also the grahas in it also I, grahas I'm, in it also grahas in wh whoever placed there it has influence on it so the influence okay so so the influence is on the grahas one right grahas also the house also the house okay can can you explain yes. how it yes and when whenever we go for higher lessons okay higher studies and there is a, there is also the uh, uh, dasas based on the rashis most of them they know that the the the, uh, uh, the dasa system that we are going to see in the near future like uh, after 20 minutes the dasa system based on the moon one that's very very famous one it's called the bimshotri dasa udu maha dasa this one based on the planet the nakshatra based okay then you if you go for the kalachakra dasa or or lagna kendra adi dasa or mola dasa or shula dasa or or narayana dasa let's say narayan these are the dasas based on the rashi you got it okay so when you take the rashi dasas then you need to look at the other rashis also who are the rashis which are the rashis are influences this house so that's where it will help oh, okay got it hmm oh whenever planet aspects the other 7th house or 5th house or 9th house 8th house like let's say the jupiter uh, uh shashank ji we need to give space for others okay let's say the aspects of jupiter say anyone in the class but come forward and say about the Uh, Jupiterian aspects, Vijay ma'am. Good evening. Five, seven, nine. Beautiful. So uh, the the Jupiter, wherever he placed, let's say he placed in the Aries. You see the red one here, okay? He placed in the Aries. Then he will have aspect on the Leo. because from if you count from the aries 1 2 3 4 5 5 the fifth aspect he has the aspect and then he has the aspect on the seventh house that is libra also he has the aspect on the sagittarius that means he has huge desire to influence that house the planet aspects always shows the huge desire it may happen or it may not but rashi drishti rashi drishti that what we are looking right now here is always have the permanent influences so based on the rashi drishti does jupiter also influence scorpio and aquarius yes he does and uh, but i am guessing that the strength of his influence or the impact of his influence on scorpio and aquarius is lesser than leo libra and sagittarius no if you look at the rashis if some if a leo rashi is running what like narayana dasa then hmm. jupiter is placed then he has a beautiful influence on the leo if the jupiter dasa is running or antar dasa is running then he has you need to look at the leo libra and sagittarius which parameter are you looking at that is the important thing oh, okay 
what are the tools that you are using for why you are taking as a jupiter are you taking as a rashi drishti uh, rashi chart are you looking for the dasas that is uh, that is based on the rashi are you looking for the planet that is the uh, uh, influence uh, like udu mahadasa the antardasa mahadasa other periods sub periods which is running that you want to or you want to uh, look for the jupiter if he is in gochara that is the um, the transiting period got it okay so i will stop this screen and then i go for the nakshatra because we are okay it's a uh, introductions to nakshatras okay <clears throat> we started at our house then we went to the planet and we went to see about the houses uh, deeply everything is uh, we went very deeply and we saw the notes is also where can you use the technique in uh, in prashna chart or in natal chart birth chart or the prashna that is the uh, the, the question raised at the moment okay the prashna chart now we are going little bit further from our place that is the nakshatra and our uh, hindu philosophy that we have a uh, 28 nakshatras we have a uh, 28 nakshatras one is called abhijit the name of the nakshatra is abhijit it's uh, it falls in the capricorn we cannot see that abhijit nakshatra because it's behind behind the one of the nakshatras but there is a nakshatra there it's abhijit nakshatra i don't want to talk about this one but remember this one there is one nakshatra it's called abhijit nakshatra one of the calculation we need one if you want to make one of the map then we need abhijit nakshatra for example sarvadho bhadra chakra these are the things that we need abhijit if you want to fix the muhurta then we need abhijit also so for right now there is no abhijit okay forget about it but keep it in your mind back side when you have a uh, further classes like higher classes uh, abhijit will come inside right now we have only 27 nakshatras anyone in the class name uh, name the 27 nakshatras name of the nakshatras 27 nakshatras anyone here ashwini varuni rohini krutika krutika dashta sadvisha asta jesta <laughs> okay you skip some of the nakshatras okay so this is how it is it start from the ashwini nakshatra the name of the star which falls in the aries sign that is a 0 degree to 13.20 degrees that we are going to see this one okay i'm going to introduce about the nakshatras there are 27 nakshatras every nakshatra measures 13 degree 20 minutes each nakshatra is divided into four parts it's very important to remember this one these are the very very important lessons for you. the last section what i'm going to give is i said already that i'm going to give the important notes 54 is the one of the important lesson that you need to remember it looks very big but it's very simple okay we have 27 nakshatra 27 multiple by 4 we got 108 right yes right, sir. Right. so now you know why we are using 108 beats in the mala 108 is very important number in our hindu philosophy and wherever you go there is a reason behind this one so 27 is nothing but the nakshatra padas you divide the nakshatra in four equal parts four equal parts And twenty-seven multiple by four, that we get hundred and eight padas. Each and every nakshatra has the name. They have the deity, they have the quality. Okay, they have the huge influences on our human body or on our planet. 
each and every nakshatra nakshatra is nothing but the stars for those who don't understand the the word here so nakshatra is the stars we are influenced by the 27 stars very strongly sir is it a star or a constellation 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 also it's stars so not only one but it's a group of stars so that is a constellation right? constellation yeah okay all right thanks okay and each nakshatra is divided into four equal parts that is 3 degree and 20 minutes and whenever you divided and we need to give the name for it first pada or like the first portion second portion third portion and fourth portion that's it 1 2 3 4 for all of the nakshatras and each and every portion or a pada that means we call the pada has the characteristics as i said before in the zodiac starting from the aries sign therefore the uh, the pada system can be seen as a system which integrated the nakshatra with the commonly used in zodiac whenever you look at the aries sign you must see you must see the nakshatra there is nakshatra in the rashi whenever you look at the sign okay the sign has the nakshatra in it each and every sign has the three nakshatras each and every sign has the three nakshatras in it and whenever the moon travels to this nakshatra we are belongs to that nakshatra family or we belongs to the nakshatra it's very simple when you born you look at the calendar when you born that calendar and you look at the moon and you look at the time when you born and that is the star there is a name for this one okay that is a star whenever you go to the temple that you need to mention that star to them because you belongs to that star family so if you look at the sign so you aries okay aries is there then you need to remember there is ashwini bharani and kirtika first pada okay there is the uh, three nakshatra in it and you see if there is any planet then you need to start to read how things is going on always remember there is something usually when you look at the uh, look at the chart you don't see any stars in it okay there is no name it you need to read, you need to keep it in your mind and we saw each nakshatra has four padas and each sign like aries taurus gemini each sign has the nine padas i said there is a three nakshatra in it and nine padas that's very important thing each and every sign has the nine pada because each and every sign has the 30 degrees we know this one because we need to divide this 30 degree uh, 100 360 degree 12 uh, for the 12 signs that we will get 30 degrees aries 30 taurus 30 then you need to divide this one into nine equal parts okay let's say like this way other way around okay you need to give 320 degree for each pada then when you get to the ninth pada ninth portion then it's finished 30 degrees done then you need to start on the next rashi that's why there is nine pada so 320 320 320 320 if you count this one for the ninth portion then you will get 30 degrees so i'm going to explain a bit more here you see the chart here yes no sir you don't see chart from the beginning oh my goodness no sir i'm <laughs> okay i thought that you are looking at the chart okay just a second huh? okay now yes 
I'm going to read it again. Okay, introduction of nakshatra. This is the first slide. The second one is that there are 27 nakshatras. As I said before, there is a 28, and one is the Abhijit. The name of the nakshatra is Abhijit. It's hiding behind the Shravana and Dhanishta. Okay. Every nakshatra measures 13 degree, 20 minutes. So we have 27 nakshatra, 27 multiple by 13.20 degree, you will get 360 degrees. Each nakshatra is divided into four equal parts. That is what we will get 320 degrees. Sorry, three degrees, 20 minutes. Each pada has the characteristics that I said before, because nakshatra is so far from us, they have the huge influences of our human. Nakshatra gives a lot of information to us when you read the chart. Okay, I said about we have uh, each and every sign has the nine padas. Each pada have three degree, 20 minutes. If you multiple by the nine, then we will get the 30 degrees. And each and every Rasi has three stars in it. Okay, Aswini, Barani, Kirtika, first pada, and Kirtika, three padas goes to the Taras. We'll go to the start. Okay, this is what I explained before. Now I'm going to change the chart here. This is what I said. Look at this is the Aries sign. Completely what you are looking at. This one is the Aries sign. Okay. And what we have here is the 30 degrees. 0 to 30 degree. That's the Aries sign. You got it? We know this one before. We saw this one. Each and every sign has the, uh, each and every Rashi has 30 degrees. Yes? Yes, sir. Okay. And we have 27 nakshatras. Always we start from the Aries sign. The nakshatras start from the Aries sign. The name of the nakshatra here, I, what I was written here is the Ashwini, Bharani, the second one. I go for the pointer. So the Bharani and the Kritika. Okay, the first nakshatra, name of the nakshatra is Ashwini. And the second nakshatra, the name of the nakshatra is Bharani. The third one is Kritika. So Ashwini has four padas. Ashwini has four padas. That is, that we are dividing Ashwini into four equal parts. We have 30 degree in the sign. Now we are giving four padas to the Ashwini, that is three point, like three degrees, 20 minutes. Three degrees, 20 minutes. That is the pada for Ashwini. Then there is four padas. If you have four padas for the Ashwini, then what you will get? 13 degree, 20 minutes. Write it down, three degree, 20 minutes, three degree, 20 minutes, three degree, 20 minutes, three degree, 20 minutes. We have 20 minutes, four 20s are 80, okay? We have only one hour, so that means one degree goes to the next one. So uh, we have uh, 20 degrees here, left over, and one de degree go to this one, and then what? Four threes are 12 plus one, 13 degree, 20 minutes, right? It's very simple calculation. Ashwini has four padas. Each and every pada has three degrees, 20 minutes. So we will have 13 degree, 20 minutes for the Ashwini. So Ashwini covers from the zero to 13 degree, 20 minutes. Do you have any doubt about Ashwini? So we go to the Barani now. The name of the second star is the, in Aries sign is the Bharani. Same calculation as uh, Ashwini before, the same one. 
but it start from the 13 degree 21 minutes to 26 degree 40 minutes this is the barani four padas it's the same calculation 320 320 320 320 we start from the because we left uh, what we left here for ashwin is 3 13 20 like a 13 degree 20 minutes then we need to start from 13 degree 21 minutes if you if you start from 31 20 degree then what we will get is 26 40 exactly the same calculation as what we have done for the ashwini the barani is the same so what we know right now is ashwini four pada barani four pada falls in the aries so 13 20 plus 13 20 what is the count 13 degree 20 minutes plus 13 degree 20 minutes what is the count 26 degree 40 minutes for exactly what is the left over then three degrees 20 minutes for the 30 degree okay. to finish up the 30 degrees so each and every pada we know already each and every pada has three degrees 20 minutes so kritika takes one path here okay kritika falls in three degrees 20 minutes here so one quick something yeah so there is one minute missing here right from Ashwini four, so Ashwini to Bharani. Uh, so there are seconds as well. Bharani has to start from 13 degrees, 20 minutes and one second. Yes. Right? But 20. when it goes to completely, it, it finishes 20, then yeah, then 20 starts from zero, 20.00 and then starts seconds here. So 13 degree, 20 and it starts here. So I put 21 for the for the calculation here. But it has to be 0, 1, right? 13, 0, 1, yes. 0, 1. Zero, one. Yeah, because otherwise that one minute is missing. There. Missing, right. yeah. All right, thanks. To to understand, easily understand. If I put 0, 0, 1 here for the, for the uh, how do you, we don't calculate it here, but this is how it is to understand this one. No, but the seconds so, will become even more important when you... Yeah, if, you, if it is more than 30 seconds, it goes to the other minute. So when if you, you go to Nadi, in, in the Nadi, the seconds become even more important, right? The D150. Yes. yes. So, so yeah. So that one minute is kind of important. That's right. One minute is very big, Tim. Two minutes is the Sashtiyam, uh, sir. Two minutes will change the Sashtiyam, sir. Your past life completely. Exactly. exactly. That is why I'm saying mm -hmm. that uh, that one minute also needs to be accounted here. To, and to I have one more question. Yeah. The four paths, why is there a dis distinction? What what is what are the difference between one path to another? Yeah. Uh, you can tell about the kids' characteristics about the paths. If it is the first path, second path, and third path, and fourth path, there is a lot of secret behind this one. In Manasagiri, there is a book name called the Manasagiri. You're giving the names of the books, but I'm waiting for the books. <laughs> today, today, today is, uh, I, I don't see, I don't, I, I try to find the Manasagiri, but I will try it because it's a printed book somewhere, but it's called the Manasagiri. Manasagiri explained very detailed. I what tried to find the death parasara yeah. uh, of uh, Santanamji, yeah. but uh, the PDF uh, downloads that I get are uh, with the pages with last parts gone. That is why I'm asking for Okay, I will. I think I have this one. I will. I will try to. I try to uh, find it. I, I already added in the in the in the mail to send it for you, but for the class all over the classes. Okay, I will check it again if there is the same file that I have or other books I that I got it. I will. I will, I will find because I have two or three versions of uh, PDF files. So you are saying it's the second volume is missing? No, not the second volume. The both the volumes are present, but the lower lower half. So the lower one fourth of a page is it's missing. Not, it's, okay, okay. I will I will look it into it deeply. Okay. I'll check it. Kind of. Anyways, you were telling about the four. Manasagiri, Manasagiri, Manasagiri. Each and every path has the has the meaning in it. The quality of the person. You can find it in the Manasagiri. But okay. So, so far as my knowledge goes, each of the padas are uh, again uh, ruled by each of the panchabhutas, right? 
yes Fire, each and every padas yeah. has the the planet in it and they have the deities they have the own deities we'll go we'll come to this point later to okay. we try to we, we try to understand what what's present here how do we calculate and what you need to look into the into the science okay okay all right Thanks. Uh, is is this clear? Aries sign is it clear for for everyone? Clear, sir. Barry G, Vinna G, Vijay G. Yes, G. Yes, thank you. Okay, okay, <laughs> thank you. Okay. So this is uh, what I made here. It's the first set of nakshatras. The name of the nakshatra here, Ashwini, Bharani, Kirtika, Rohini, Mrigashirisha, Arudra, Punarvasu, Pushya, Pushyami, or Asilesha. We call the Ayilya also. So this is nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine nakshatra. This is one set. Okay, 27 nakshatras, we divided into three equal parts, like uh, divided by three, then we get the nine, three is 27, okay? So first nine goes to the first part, first nakshatra set. Because this nakshatra set, Ashwini, Bharani, Kirtika, that is false in the, Aries sign. Okay. Then again, the Kirtika starts from the Kirtika second pada, second part of the uh, second pada, second portion, it starts from the uh, Haras. Then Rohini, Mirgi Sirisha, they have the three connection here. Then you need to take Mirgi Sirisha, Arudra, Punarvasu, they have three Gemini, Punarvasu, Pushya, Ailya in the Cancer. Exactly all this one will finish it off in the Cancer. There is a no link between after Ayulya and Maga. We need, you need to take the note, very important notes here. Ashwini to Ayulya, this nine nakshatra has the links for the each and every Rashi. So Kirtika has the link to the Aries and Kirtika links the Taras also, like what we saw here. Look at this one. Each and every Rashi has the four Padas. But we have only nine rooms here to fill up, okay? Like uh, nine legs can be filled here. So uh, Shini four, Barani four, and Kritika one, because we have a small space here to uh, uh, to stand up or to stand on. So we have, uh, we call the Kritika here. So the Kritika 320 here, okay? So 30 degrees is done. Then when you need to go for the uh, Taras sign, that's a different thing. So Kritika second, third, fourth will fall in the Taras. So like that, Kirtika has the link, okay? And here, here is the Mrigasirisha has the link and Punarvasa has the link. This three nakshatra has the link. So there is a no broken link here between Ashwini and Asilesha. Everyone got the point here? Yes? Yes, Shamaji. Okay, good. So... From here, like let's say the fire, the 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 fire Rasi, the fiery Rasi is the uh, Aries. Taurus is what kind of Rasi is Taurus? Taurus. Grand Prithvi. Prithvi. Third sign. Third sign is Gemini. Uh, no, Taurus is Earth sign. Uh, earth sign. Yes, Prithvi Rasi. Yes, Earth sign. The third one. Care sign, Jalam. Fourth one uh, is what is Jalam, Jalam, Jalarasi. It's a watery sign. Okay, so we have four tattvas are present, all present in this nakshatras. Okay, all nakshatras present in four nakshatras, four rasis. Also, they have the link. So there is a one important thing. After the Jalarasi, what is the rasi starts here? After the after the cancer, what is the rasi? What is fire. the Rasi? A fire Rasi. Exactly. So there is a no link between the water Rasi and the fire Rasi. There is a no link between water and through the nakshatras. 
through the nakshatra there is no link completely all the nakshatra finish from the ashwini to the ashalesha and four and then you need to start from again this is called other rashis okay maka purva palguni uttara palguni hasta chitra swati vishaka anuradha and jeshta these are the other nakshatras okay, again it will it's the same four 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 all has the four padas and there is a link between each and every rasi has the nine three things you need to remember one is the name of the nakshatra and you know that there is a, they, they hold the four four portions in each and every nakshatra and each and every rashi has the nine portions in it that simple you don't need to go for calculation you don't need to look for the degrees don't make it yourself so much complicated simple thing each and every rashi has 30 degrees 30 degrees divided by 9 that is that simple okay so we have each and every rashi has the nine portions in it and each and every portion has the name that is what we are looking at okay ashwini bharani ashalesha it's finishing there is a no link between for the ashalesha and maka so it goes again there is a link between this one after the jeshta jeshta falls in the scorpio from the scorpio to the sagittarius there is a no link between the scorpio to the sagittarius through the nakshatra there is a no link so that's why it's a second set again the nine nakshatras so maga till uh, jeshta jeshta uh, which is scorpio second pada is one set the second set that's what you are saying yeah second set nine nine nakshatras if you count this one it's a nine nakshatras okay so the second uh, jeshta after jeshta there is no link to the next next nakshatra second set it is over there is no link because it will finish if you go for your own calculation it will finish it here there is a no uh, link from the maka maka is four pada is here mm. we see this four pada four pada four pada if you count this one four 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 then you will have the count here and it will finish it here and there is a no link then you need to start from here right so the the pada completes actually correct so until yes. the thing it, yeah. it was the first pada second pada falls in one Uh, one to other rashis yes it moves to the other rashi so yes. it's like somewhere there is a continuity uh, there is a chain they... there is a link between ashwini to ashalesha uh, so uh, from for the first three correct which the first until three uh, no for, not first three for until cancer the four element uh, uh, ashalesha okay until no, no, uh, until until ashalesha that's uh, that's the last nakshatra of the watery sign can cancer yeah Okay, so until then, uh, there is one connection is uh, getting completed. So yes, the next con- once one set is completed. Okay. Then there is no connection between the Ashalesha and Maka. Then there is this one. This is the Ashalesha. I want to show. This is the Ashalesha. Okay. There is no okay. completely. There is four padas fits here, and there is no connection. Like like okay. so, uh, and Taras and uh, Aries and uh, Taras has the connection here through the Kritika. Mm. Okay, Mirga mm. Sirisha has the connection between the Taras and Gemini. Punarvasu okay. has the connection between the Gemini and Cancer. Punarvasu Gemini. Aradra is complete on its own in. Uh... Asal Asalesha completely in uh, Cancer, so there is no connection because uh, from here is the fourth pada of Punarvasu starts from the Cancer and Pushya and Asalesha four four they hold the four padas so completed here there is no connection there. for this set so uh, another thing i not, uh, noticed is you know ruling deity and the ruling lord right yeah so i will come to the i will come to that point okay. we will come to the again we will come to this one okay i am just going for the nakshatras only to okay. give the three sets and then i will go for the other uh, i i try to make it very simple so you will not get uh, confused and you will not lost in the jyotisha forest okay. Okay. okay then we for the, the the third set starts from the mula it starts from the sagittarius again the same formula same system each and every nakshatra has the four portions like what we call the pada or in tamil it's a legs naal kaalgal okay and each and every rashi each and every rashi has the 
nine portions only they have the space for the only nine portions because each and every portion has 3 degrees 20 minutes so we have 30 degrees that's simple very simple so and okay. then they have the connection between from moola to ravet okay why i am telling this one is very important why i am telling this one is more important it has some mantra connection between this one okay there is a deep mantric connection here okay and there is if you look at the chart these are the things that you need to note it immediately okay i said about junctions so we need to go this one junctions again okay in the later part remember this one we have three junctions i between the ailya and maka ravati and ashwini these are the junction points okay so now i come to the other part starts and ends just keep it in mind i need to write it here uh, so i just wrote it here so don't don't confuse with this one we will go for the vimshotri dasa we know the planets we know nine planets are there from uh, sun to the ketu okay the ashwini nakshatra who ever who ever born in the ashwini nakshatra remember this one who ever born in the ashwini nakshatra they start the period with the ketu the ketu starts their period very simple you can ask them what nakshatra are you then they will tell some nakshatra and you can tell why, which vimshotri dasa this is the very basic fundamental dasa to understand its name is vimshotri uttari means above vim means 20 above 20 in sanskrit is 120 years for each and every human being has 120 years that is what we got but we are not living because there is a sutram behind there is a formula behind this one why we are not living for 120 years but we know some people are living more than 100 years so our our life span each and every animal beings or each and every living things has the life span for human being we got 120 years and that 120 years allotted to this planets through the nakshatra so ashwini nakshatra ashwini whoever born in this in this constellation or this nakshatra they will start their life with ketu dasa who are born in bharani so venus it's the same set you you must remember this one 55 54 is that very important thing don't need to go for nakshatra remembering at one point you will remember it okay i will give the uh, tricks and tips to understand and to make it very easy for you but here you must remember these are the things that you need to 55 chapter must first in first vimshotri lord like vimshotri 120 years of period lord start from ketu this is the set which is given by the maharishis okay ketu rules first second venus third sun moon mars rahu jupiter saturn mercury i'm going to read it again ashwini nakshatra the vimshotri lord the lord of the ashwini nakshatra the who is ruling all for the ashwini nakshatra for the vimshotri is the ketu after the ashwini bharani comes next then the venus is there to rule he will take over the 20 years of period in our life and they have the period life also and we are going to see in the next and next chapter okay and kirtika is sun rohini is moon mrugasirisha is mars arudra is rahu punarvasu is jupiter pushya is saturn and asalesha is mercury very simple you ask the nakshatra and you remember the planet and then you can you can look at that period okay first pada second pada there is lot of calculation behind it i'm not going through the calculation because this class is not for the calculation this class to understand what it is okay same set again 
the nakshatra has changed but the same set ketu venus sun moon mars this is how it is the for the second set also for the third set first set same second set same third set same the the sequence of the planet the vimshotri dasa is same but the nakshatra will change so i try to connect these three sets okay i try to connect the three sets i think it's uh, it's not here it's not here ah uh, here okay i will i will connect it the later okay okay how i was learning because there is a slokas there is a formulas when you go to the school and learn this one we are now online and we are sitting somewhere but i been in the gurukul system that i must stay with my teacher and learn this one okay and then they will morning wake up brush took shower do some puja and come for the class and then they will start ashwani makamola and i need to repeat with me okay you need to repeat with me so it's much easy for to understand nakshatras okay ashwani makamola say it. Makamula. Ashwini Makamula. Ashwini Makamula. Everyone, everyone, if you want to learn this technique, it's much easy to practice this way. Ashwini Makamula. Ashwini Makamula. Bharani Puram Puradam. Bharani Puram Puradam. Bharani Puram Puradam. Kirtikai Uttram Uttradam. Kirtika Uttram Uttrada. One, only once you repeat in mind also i don't care but you must say it out you are astrologer remember this one you are astrologer you need to speak you need to tell you need to uh, uh, pronounce the words ketu veena sun moon mars you need to tell ashuni bharani okay aries or mesha rishabha you need to speak it out okay ashwani makamula Samaji, can you start from the start again? Sorry. Yes, yes, yes. First one. Ashwini Maka Mula. Ashwini Maka Mula. Great. Okay. I will, I will show the... Here. It's much easier for you. Okay. I don't want to come here before. Okay. Here, look at this one. Ashwini Maka Mula. Ashwini Maka Mula. Bharani... Puba in, San, in, in, in Kerala, we use the Puba. That's why I wrote. Bharani Pura Palguni. We call the Puram Puradam. Bharani Puram Puradam. This is one set here. This is the first set. This is the second set. This is the th third set. Kirtikai Uttram Uttradam. Kirtikai Uttram Uttradam. Rohini Astam Shravanam. Rohini Astam Shravanam. Bruga Sirisha Chitra Dhanishta. Arudra Swati Sadavisha. Arudra Swati Sadavisha. Punarvasu Vishaka Purva Badravada. Punarvasu Vishaka Purva Badravada. Pushya Anuradha Uttra Badravada. Pushya Anuradha Uttra Badravada. Asalesha Deshta Revati. Asalesha Deshta Revati. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, now you know this one. First set of Ashwini, second set of Maka, third set of Mula, they are false in the Ketu. Look at this one, Ketu here, Ketu here, Ketu here. So, Ashwini, Maka, Mula for the Ketu. That's how you, because if you remember these three sets, then it's much easy. You need to, you need to remember only the nine stars in the beginning, then it will come naturally for you. So, you don't need to remember all the 27 stars. Individually, Ashwini Makam Molam, Barani Puram Puradam, Kritiki Utra Utradam, then it, it comes to you naturally. Okay, first set, second set, third set. Got it? You will understand, you will understand. Okay, ruling deity. It's also very important. Okay, the first one is Ashwini Kumara. Ashwini Kumara, who rules this one? Ruling deity. This is the Vimshotri Lord. When someone born, this is the Lord that gives the period for the person, what he will think, what he will do, where he will focus everything. This one gives the inner things, okay? What are the qualities of the nakshatra? The qualities of the nakshatra. Ashwini holds Ashwini Kumara, the medicine. Second is the Yama. Remember this one. Whoever that ruling deity, they gave the glimpse of the karya, what you are doing. If you want to fix the muhurta, for example, I want to, I want to go towards war. 
in this chart what which one you will choose look at this one mars no 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 look at the ruling deity i want to go again i i i want to uh, uh, go for war okay which deity i will take it shiva shiva okay okay agni agni okay go on go on please come on open your mouth shiva agni okay probably emma also because you know you defeat the no. you know why you <laughs> making war is to killing someone right right yeah yeah so really if i want to make a war then i need to fix the muhurta when the barani stars come you understand yeah. how i am giving the glimpse for you don't take verbally because there must be lot of things to understand about the muhurta mm. there is quite lot when you fix the muhurta it's not simple at all usually pbrg will say there is a one uh, great masters in our uh, in our well astrology master he say okay it takes minimum 1000 years to fix one one great muhurta that difficult to make a muhurta people will call me okay sharma ji can you look at the muhurta it's looking at the chart it's not e even for the chart i will go through with, like within 15 minutes 20 minutes i will read the chart but for muhurta no it is not possible you cannot come to the astrologer say sir uh, can you fix this muhurta this date and this date i have a, i have a flexible date for 8 days 9 days can you fix it is not possible you know what they will do they will go for the uh, uh, nakshatras like uh, uh, janma janma sampat vipat kshama disa the nakshatras say go at no you need to go through very detailedly what kind of work that you want to do and what you are doing what you are going to do for example marriage or the war or you are against someone that you are going to uh, file against someone or you want to go by the the cattle or the gold or the house so many things so this one this deity will give the the, the glimpse of the nakshatras okay ashwini by the kumara ashwini kumara yama yama is the Uh, uh for the for the uh, other religion people or other uh, practice practitioners yama is the one who takes away our life yama agni we know brahma creator moon we know shiva we know aditi aditi it's yoga so okay one of them is who comes to your home that's called aditi also there is a deity is aditi jupiter and rahu It is the first night. Aditi, who comes to your home? Also, there is a twelve um, uh, Aditis are there. There are there are the devas, Aditi devas. Aditi or Adityas? Aditi. Adityas also twelve. Okay, so who is Aditi? Who, for example, they take the they take the forms of uh, 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 devas. for example if someone comes to your home as a as a uh, someone you don't know anything for let's say if some beggar is coming or someone who is a monk is coming they take the forms of aditi oh, aditi aditi or aditi aditi or aditi aditi not adi okay. not the fourth dha not the fourth one no no, no. so you are saying aditi Sorry. okay all right thanks okay sun aryaman there is a shloka for the aryaman also in the in, they are the vedic uh, uh, vedic deities vishwakarma no vayu indra mitra mitra also one of the name for the sun also mitra mitra is the friendship nirurti jeshta look at this one jeshta nirurti you know who is nirurti nirurti who rules over the south west corner in the universe it's called nirurti she is a woman and she is a demon nirurti for jeshta nakshatra okay varuna vishwadeva brahma vishnu vasu vasu 
there is ashta vasukal there is vastu varuna ajacharana ahir budhnya there is a rishi name also ahir budhnya rishi and it's it's a uh, pushyaman there is a there is a missing here pushan these are the deities we have for the 27 and they give the glimpse of the nakshatra's quality okay arudra okay now we can see very clearly ashwini has four pada bharani has four pada and kritika has one pada here so it's filled here nine padas is done then the kritika is done here then kritika starts from here 3 4 5 again rogini and mruga sirisha as i said kritika is giving the connection for the taras sign mruga sirisha is connection to the mithuna and the punarvasu connection to the karkataka and if you look at the asalesha this is the important point i is, i ask you to remember this point okay asalesha the four pada finishes so this is a, uh, the um, the fiery sign prithivi agni this is fiery and earth sign air is sign and water element and again it's not the fiery sign so if you look at this chart if you look at this chart and there is a no link between the water sign and the fiery sign yes as i said no yes there is no connection there is a no connection between asalesha don't you don't see here okay asalesha is done here there is no connection here but if you look at this one there is a kritika but also there is a kritika here this is the picture i took it from uh, from my old book that's why the spelling is a bit uh, different okay kritika they wrote it kritika okay look at this murga sirisha here and look at this murga sirisha here there is a connection here and look at the punarvasu here there is one punarvasu also punarvasu here as i said before fourth part so this all four rashis are connected through the nakshatra but the fifth rashi is not connected there is no connection between asalesha and asalesha here did you notice here yes yes great great so whoever born in between this asalesha the fourth pada and the magas first pada they must have problem you don't need to go deeper into the chart i'm giving the very secret here and very simple so very effective problem, uh, shama ji so when you say problem does it mean like it's clashing or it's repelling or attracting yeah i come to i come to the point okay there is three kinds of problem you can notice from the chart from the birth this is from the birth you don't need to look at anything you look at this one if you see any ascendant here okay in between the asalesha the last quarter last portion of the asalesha and the first portion of the maka i will give the time for you i will give the name for that one also okay if you look at this one and that must be lagna what is the lagna what we know about lagna what is ascendant what is the first house small points one or two is enough what is the first house first house is ascendant is it yes yeah, yeah. yeah. what it what it says what is what is the first house all about atmaka no 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 it's not atmaka ji the first house is about your self yeah atma atma yeah self okay i hear atma kar so self intelligence okay your fame your health like complete body if this one is a watery sign and this one is the fiery sign and they the both element are enemies water and fire they are strong enmity they have the strong enmity water and fire okay whenever there is a junction if you look at this one if it comes to the watery or the fire this the body or this intellectual or the self doesn't know where it goes or where it stays so this kid or this people 
must have serious issues with the body, with the intellectual. The name of the dosha, the name of the dosha, the dosha is, uh, how do you call dosha in English? Uh, dosha. Defect. The effect. Okay. Uh, defect. Defect. Okay. Defect. Okay. The defect of the kids, you see from the intellectual or the body, they have, they must have the health, health issues. You blindly close your eyes, you can tell they must have the defect in their body, in their health issues. They must face their health issues. Why I'm giving the reason here? That's why from the beginning, you must keep open your ears and your heart, your mind to listen the lessons. If you miss some point, you will miss this part. So from the Ashwini to the Asilesha, there is a connection between two uh, Rajis here. And for here, there is a no connection. It's a nature. There is a, this element and this element. They are not uh, uh, close friends. They are enmity also. So whoever this falls here, then they must face a serious issue. So when you are looking for Muhurta, like the Muhurta is nothing but the future. You are fixing some auspicious days for the Muhurta. Uh, then don't go for such a close timing. Okay? And then again, it starts from here, it ends here, it's here. This is the Mula, the four Padas and the Jeshta. This is the bad corner. The Mula, you heard about the Abhukta Mula, Abhukta Mula, there is, the, the, uh, there is a name for the Mula. For example, if there is a um, the girl or a boy born on the Mula Nakshatra, if it is in the first Pada, you need to remember, it is the first Pada, they must have faced lots and lot of trouble in the life. I'm, I'm not talking about the ascendant here, I'm talking about the Nakshatra. You remember what I said, if someone born in the Nakshatra of Mula or the Jeshta fourth this kind of problem falls in the nakshatra. This name of the dosha, the defect, the name of this defect is called a nakshatra dosha. This one is lagna. But lagna could be here and here and here also. But we come to this point. But I, I need to take the nakshatra. That's why I took it here. So it's a, a, a much famous here. The Mula Nakshatra is much famous here. Okay. So, so what happens to somebody who is very who, who is between the Vrishchika and the Dhanur Rasi? What happens? It's about uh, Lagna or Nakshatra? Nakshatra. The nakshatra is about the Prana, the life. They will struggle quite large. If it is in this completely in the corner here. Oh, okay. How many minutes we need to go for that one also? We have the minutes also that one, okay? Also, exactly here, the Revati and then the Ashwini. So, whenever mm -hmm. you look at the chart, if the ascendant falls here, here, you need to go for the degree, what kind of degree and which degree it is. And here is exactly this one. You need to remember this one. If you open so this chart, this must come in your mind. First okay. lesson for you, how do you look at the chart? This is the first lesson. Um, so Nashatra is constellation. Yeah. Constellation affects us, it affects directly the life of the person, depending on the clashes of the different type of elements in the houses. Is that correct? Also, they, they are holding some, some of the energies in your body and they are giving what kind of karma, past karma that you have done, that what you are going to face in the future. Oh, wow, so much information. Okay. Sharmachi? Yeah? Can you give one example of uh, the karma, how the nakshatra and the karmas are related? Okay, which dasa you are running right now? Right now, Saturn Mahadasha. Okay, Saturn Mahadasa is running now. From the birth dasa, which is the dasa this one is? Uh, from the birth, uh, I have faced, um, I, I was born in Rishi. Which... Okay, Mirisha is the Mars. After Mars is Jupiter. Jupiter after the, sorry, Mars, Rahu, Jupiter and Saturn Dasa. That's the fourth Dasa is running for you right now. Okay, yes. the nine, 19 years period. 
the fourth dasa this is the dasa janma sampad kshama dasa this all these years will be a very completely uh, uh, benefic dasa uh, for you this is the karma that you are running right now from the past karma that you need to look for the other uh, dasa systems so Sorry. which dasha will be like uh, which, uh, which dasha will be bad like uh, for third dasha second dasha like uh, Which no, one? very very bad is five and seven. Seven is the most bad. Most of them they passed away in the seventh nakshatra. So fifth dasha also after the fourth will be the fifth. So fifth will be the most bad. Uh, no, not the most just is the seventh one. Well, it's because of the age factor that uh, anyone would pass through. No, that, uh, no, no. Because of it's a vada dasha. Vada dasha. Vada. Okay. I will come to this point. I will come to this oh. point. So the okay. seventh one also deals with that death. Is that why? Eighth, eighth one, the eighth one. Wait, wait, seventh is the one with uh, partnership and. Marga, life. yeah, Marga di pati dasa. That is Not Marga di. The house is kills you. That house is kills you. This is I am talking about nakshatras. I am not coming I'm, to that point. Okay, my, my, I am sorry. I am getting confused here. So, so you said the Saturn dasa because this is the fourth one. Okay. It is a good. I, 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 I will start from. I will start from here. I will start from here. Okay. Hmm. Uh, maybe I will just finish this one. I will come to the point. So uh, everyone understand this part here. So I can go. I will go to the next one. So one one quick question here. So you said the person who is born at the cusp of uh, water to fire, that person will have uh, some sort of a health issue. Right? Yes. If it is a lagna, if it is lagna or nakshatra, both. I I gave three doshas for you. I mentioned only two for you. One is lagna, also hmm. the nakshatra. You don't want hmm. to take three. Uh, if anyone is present there, then you need uh -huh. to count. Yeah. Hello. So you're saying that somebody. So let's say uh, somebody's lagna is dhanur lagna. but if it is very close to the beginning of the uh, rasi then that person will also have health issues is that what you are saying yes health issues and they don't find the way in their life how close is close how close is is close i will come to the point because we finished only two and there is a three more and oh, there is oh. one one more is called titi and we know about the titis before we saw waxing moon and waning moon i think i have the chart of uh, uh here this is the 59th chart here okay i will come to this point one is uh, titi gandanda dosha we called and nakshatra titi is uh, take this note anywhere uh, any have you are going to get this note here okay each and every sign like a uh, uh, cancer and uh, so i will just go here uh, so here here okay one one gatika that is 48 minutes we know that is one muhurta 48 minutes is muhurta so we are dividing 48 by 2 by, divided by 2 is 24 and 24 so 24 minutes here 24 minutes here if someone born in the last the degree here last degree of this karkataka rashi or if someone born in the beginning of the simha rashi within 24 minutes then they will have this effect so you apply this formula to all this conjunction or cusp of the scorpio and dhanu rashi conjunction between the meena and mesha Okay, so somebody beyond one degree is okay. Then one degree is four minutes, G. Yeah, in Lagna, so, in Lagna. Okay, so you are saying twenty-four minutes. How many degrees is it? Five, six, six, six degrees. six degrees. Oh, okay. So there is a parihara also for this one. if somebody doesn't have find any job proper job or proper life uh, guidance or anything 
then is a parigara it's uh, given by the maharishi parasara itself there is a shloka for this one also okay each one everything has the shloka i don't go for the shloka shloka means formula that you need for whoever born in the tithi dosha that is if it is a purnima or or uh, nanda nanda is uh, one, one there is a name for the tithi is also so we go for the muhurta later on so just write it down one one born in the amavasa or, or full moon day or the fifth and take look at the 48 minutes it's in the plus or minus that is a junction between the pratima 1 and 15 10 and 11 between 10 and 11 and between 5 and 6 that's what you need to understand here there is a junction between 15 after 15 tithi after 15 what is the first one okay waxing or waning moon they born in this between and they need to do the mrtinchya homam and they need to give the dana dana is give away they need to buy the bullock they need to give away bullock is the male one ha huh? right yes the male one give away to the priest whoever do the puja and whoever born this nakshatra dosha between the revati as we know before this last the pisces and the aries revati and uh, ashwini cancer and uh, leo oscillation and maka jeshta and mula that is the scorpio uh, scorpio uh, and sagittarius then they need to do the mrtinji homa there is lot of process in it i don't want to go through the rituals here okay that they need to give away the cow with the calf the calf you need this both they need to be like the family okay same mother same daughter or son it cannot be separated okay someone this calf and no you need to buy the same like i don't know how to how to a calf and cow and calf to someone born in the ascendant like we what we saw before like okay pisces and aries and say uh, cancer and uh, and leo and they need to give away the gold this is called the parihara dosha it's called gandanda dosha the name of the dosha which the the child born in even though if you don't do any doshas if they are 30 or 40 even 50 25 it doesn't matter you ask them you have done this puja before they said no then you know where is the problem is ask them to do the puja immediately on good muhurta then look at their life i have seen so many in my life one of the secret i am giving to you my dears very secret thing usually the chart when the people will look, open this one they will not look at this dosha this is the dosha from the from the from the birth okay okay so sorry some uh, go on go on ji go on please a little on. bit of clarification so 60 minutes is 1 degree right yes 60 minutes it's 1 degree yeah that is Now, for the nakshatra uh, dura nakshatra space okay, what i'm so, talking about the lagna space here yeah for lagna so lag so wait a minute so each of these rashis is 30 degrees yes 1 degree is how many minutes 4 minutes 4 minutes so 30 degrees is no 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 that minute is in time but this minute is in degrees this minute is uh, spatial this is the space that we give for because you need to divide the 24 hours and you need to divide this for for the 12 harashis for the lagna i'm talking about the lagna oh okay and if you go for the nakshatra that is the first pada also the same oh so you're saying that when somebody is born 24 minutes between plus or Which minus degree? this one and that one okay so that 24 minutes is equal to 60 degrees okay no 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 don't don't go for that don't go for the degree right now ji it's a minutes i'm talking about the minutes only the gatika the exactly the name which was given by the maharishi was gatika that is 48 minutes even the nakshatra when the nakshatra changes one rashi one one nakshatra to other nakshatra you can count uh, calculate this one in drik panjanga you don't find this calculation but the, in jahannada aura you can find this one. okay
Okay, all right. Got it. Okay, now we come to the uh, Mahadasa. Do look at this. This is the name you need to remember. Whoever born on the Ashwini Dasa, Ashwini Makamula. That's what we saw in the beginning. Look at this one here. Ashwini Makamula. They have seven years. How do you calculate this one? Also, there is a lot of calculation behind this one. We don't need to go through this one. So look at the seven years that you remember this one. That's simple. Ketu rules over seven years. Venus has, Venus has 20 years. He has the largest year. So everyone loves when Venus comes. It depends upon the ascendant. Sun, six years. Moon, 10 years. Mars, seven. Okay, Ketu and Mars, they do, they go together. Ketu and Mars. Okay. And Mars after Mars. And uh, Vijay ji, uh, look at here. Mars is seven years. Okay. Then Rahu, 18 years. That's the second one. Third is the 16 year Jupiter. Little bit of struggle in your life. Also, whenever you do the, this, take it, take the note when I'm giving something important. Okay. It comes to me. Whenever the Punar Basu, Vishaka and Purva Badrabada, Nakshatra runs your uh, period in the month, don't do any good karma. That's that's abstraction. That's abstractal for you. So people go very fast, try to jump on the reading and they know many things. They go for the, all the charts without knowing the basics. And that's why it takes time for them to understand what is Jataka, how it works. Why I am struggling on Punarvasa Nakshatra? You don't know because Punarvasa is the third Nakshatra. Janma, Sampat, Vipat, Vipat Nakshatra. If you drive, if you buy the car on this one, definitely your car will get accident. Of Punarvasu, Vishaga or Puro Badrabada. I'm not talking for everyone. I'm talking about the Vijiji because she born on the mass, the Samarvi Sirisha. Or Chitra. Chitra, isn't it? You said Amma. Okay, anyway, she born on this three Nakshatra. Samarvi Sirisha, Chitra, Adhanisha. Okay, and uh, Saturn rules 19 years and Mercury, if you count this one, 7, 26, everyone, we get 120 years. Okay, I go for the other one. It's a, uh, I don't know. Let's try. Okay, there is one chart. It's called the D9 chart. It's very important chart in our, in our uh, Vedic astrology. D9 has Three important roles. The Rashi, we know the Rashi, okay? R A S A Rashi chart. When you born, the planets are somewhere present. I will show, I will show, I will close this one. If I open the, yeah, I have here something. Okay. You see this chart here? Yes. And I feel like I'm talking myself here. No one says yes, sir. Do you see that? Do you see the chart here? Yes. So this is the Rashi chart, Rashi chart, thank you. Rashi chart here. So when you born, this is the, it's a fixed one. So you, the Mars is here right today and uh, Venus and Ma, uh, Mercury, Rahu here, uh, Sun, Moon. So you see the planets, okay, all over here. So you see the other one also here. It's Nava Amsha. Amsha means division. Amsha means division. Nava means nine. You look at this Rashi chart, okay? This Rashi, Rashi chart divided by 9. That's simple. Whatever number you look at this one, example, D9, D10, D30, D20 uh, or 24, doesn't matter. That is That means it is divided by that, that numbers. So here, Navamsha means it's divided by 9. Is this clear? Do you know what is D9 is right now? Yeah, yeah, it's very simple. Divided by nine. That's it. Where it's from the Rashi chart. Okay, Navamsha will tell about the quality, the strength of the planets. This one, the D nine, is nothing but what you have brought from the previous life. D nine shows your partnership. D9 shows you are the quality of the person. What kind of quality? Which planets dominate? These are the things to see from the Namaksha. 
always, no matter whatever, all the astrologers, they have these two charts beside one. This one is they, when they born. And this is the map of the Rasi chart. They divide this one and they got the map. Look at this planet are somewhere here and there. Okay, I'm going to explain why they are placed here. How they are placed here. Okay, it's a little bit small max, but uh, I don't have other options to tell you how it's uh, it's happening. Then I need I must tell you this is a very simplest mathematical calculation. Okay, this is the Rasi chart. And they divide this Rashi, uh, Rashi chart by divided by nine and they got the map here. Okay. And everything and everything, which it's not myself and the Rishi Maharishis or the saints, we call the, the, the divine itself, they gave the knowledge for us. And they gave the formulas here how to do this one. And I'm going to explain. I'm going to explain about this D9 chart, how we will make a map from the Rashi chart. Okay. And go for that. Computing the Navamsa chart. Each Rasi divided into nine equal parts. That is 320 degree. We know this one. We already saw. Because if the nine equal parts, that is nine padas. Nine portion of the, from the nakshatras. Each and every nakshatra has four portions. Okay. Okay. Look at this simple. Aries. Capricorn, Libra, and Cancer. Whether the Rashi are fiery, earthy, airy, and water sign. You know the airy sign is the fiery sign. Capricorn, what is the Capricorn sign? What is the element which is holding Capricorn? Anyone? Capricorn? Prithvi. Prithvi Tattva. That is the earthy sign. What is the Libra? Libra. Ayu. <coughs> yeah, airy and cancer, we know it's a watery sign. We already saw, just now we saw when we are looking at the ascendant, okay, the dosha, the, the defective. Airy signs start from itself. Capricorn, that is the that is the earthy sign. Start from the Capricorn. No matter whatever the airy signs. What are the airy signs? What are the uh, fiery fiery signs? What are the fiery signs? I think I need I need I need an answer from you so we can go faster. Aries, Leo, Leo, very good, and the Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Okay, if there is any planet placed in the Sagittarius, you blindly close your eyes, you can start from the Aries. Whatever planet placed in the Capricorn, what are the earthy signs? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Virgo, yeah. These are the three signs that we call the triangles. Okay, 159. From Capricorn, 159 is the Capricorn, uh, Taurus, and the Virgo. These are the earthy signs. Whatever planets, whoever placed in the these three signs, you need to start count from the Capricorn. These are the formulas I'm giving to you. Fiery signs. This is look at this one. Fiery signs start from the Aries. Earthy sign from the Capricorn. Airy signs. What are the Airy signs? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Whoever placed in the Gemini. Aquarius or Libra, you need to start from the Libra itself. And what are the signs? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. No matter which sign, and what planet, what are the uh, ascendant or other things placed in the signs, you need to start from the Cancer itself. Is this clear? So we can go for the other uh, 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 other calculation. Same same D nine. Then we I need to elaborate a little bit. So. Fairy signs start from the Aries and earthy signs start from the Capricorn. Airy signs start from the Libra. Watery signs start from the Cancer. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, okay, okay, okay. This is the third one. You just go through this one. I will explain. Okay. There is a second, three methods to calculate the uh, computing the D9. I'm, there is a two second method I already printed and then uh, 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 it's for the book. It was a little bit complicated that one. I'm giving this one, okay. We know Chara Rasi, Stira Rasi, and Disubhav Rasi, Ubay Rasi, you know, yes? Chara Stira Ubayam. Yeah. Okay. Chara Rasi starts from the one itself, Chara Rasi itself. And Stira Rasi, like a Stira second, second one, start from the ninth house from itself. For example, Taras is the Stira Rasi. Any planets placed in that one, you need to go to the Capricorn and you need to start from there. Any uh, Ubhay Rasi, that is the Subhava or Ubhay Rasi, you need to start from the five house. One, nine, five, that is the formula here. One, nine, five, this is the formula for the Charas Stira Ubhaya. And here is the formula is Aries Capricorn. Leo and Cancer based on the fairy signs. And the third one, the second one I didn't mention here, it's about the Nakshatra Padas. Okay, I will try to explain. Ashwini Maga Mola, I remember I, I asked you to say this one. Ashwini Maga Mola is from the Aries. Bharani Puram Puradam is from the Leo. Kirtikai Uttram Uttradam from the Sagittarius. That is based on the Nakshatra Padas. So you have three ways to map the D9 here. You don't, know, you don't need to map it yourself, but it's a funny to do it. It's much easier. I will go to the detailed uh, explanation right now, okay? If someone bonds in the Ashwini first pada, then we go for the three examples here. First example is about the fiery sign. Where you will start? You start from here, yes? Okay, no one with me. I can see each Rasi has the dividend nine equal parts. Okay, so take this nine, keep it in your mind. So we have nine padas here. There is a nine stone here, example, stones here. Work. Okay, we need to fill the stone here all over the places. If someone born in the Ashwini first one, okay, then you, you place the stone itself here. If someone uh, born in the Ashwini second pada, then you, you have two stones, one stone here, then second one comes here, okay? You understand this one? Okay, someone has the, like, uh, I don't know if I can write something, okay? Uh, not good at writing on the screen. Let's see. Okay, one stone, two stones, three stones, four, five. Okay, you see the, you see the stones here? Funny stones, okay? If someone, this is the one, this is the two, this is three, four, so on. If someone born on the Ashwini first one, that you have only one stone, you don't have any other. So you place it only here. That means you place it here only. If someone born in the Ashwini two, uh, uh, second pada, how do you know all this one? You need a software, okay? Then you, you take the first one stone here, you leave it one here, and then you leave it second one here. If someone is born in the Ashwini third pada, again, one you leave, uh, leave it here, second, third one here. And then I'm going to give the clue right now. If someone moon placed in the Ashwini fourth pada, someone moon, where you will place the stone, Moon in the fourth pada in Ashwini. First stone you leave it here, second you leave it here, third you leave it here, fourth you will get it here. I'm right? So far you understand? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In D9, in D9, the moon, you place the moon in the Karkataka in D9. You know the D9. We saw the D9 chart. This is how you map the planets. If someone born in the Ashwini fourth pada, that means the moon will go to the Karkataka for the Aries, for the fiery sign. Okay? 
for example what is the other fiery sign maga okay you see that this one is maka i'm right i'm right yes 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 okay maybe i can skip the class here because uh, calculation is maka fourth sign okay uh, everybody interested on the reading one so the maka it's it's i it's i must teach you because it will help you believe me it will help you quite lot maka fourth pada when you have a prashna chart you must have the calculation maga fourth pada that is a fiery fiery sign then you need to start from the aries again that is it comes again here if someone born on the maga fourth pada moon is fourth in the maga then it falls here again so we have a calculation all over this is what i mentioned here each and every rasi in the equal part aries capricorn libra and cancer and you look at the pada what pada they are in so how do you, we have only four pada how do you know eighth pada ninth pada it's very simple we have this chart how do i erase this one there is there is there is there is a okay here okay we have only four pada sir if someone uh, how do i calculate the uh, nine pada so you said we need to take nine numbers very simple ashwini has four barini has four kritika has, uh, has one if you have a calc uh, if you have a software it will tell which pada they are in first pada second pada third pada then you need to go for the fiery sign earthy sign or uh, airy sign watery sign then you count it you will you will get the map that's how that d9 mapping d9 helps you to find out the quality of the person you can correct the timing if they are missing any timing you can i have corrected so many using only the d9 chart there is so many techniques very deep you can go but by the looking at the d9 also you will just correct it okay so this is the d9 chart how do you make it so this is the watery sign and earthy sign i ask the questions here okay look at this one watery and red i put the ascendant here i put the ascendant red mark red mark to understand about the doshas okay doshas and we know about this doshas where it comes from why it forms all this one here and uh, these are the jyotir lingas aries if someone has to be improved the ninth house or eighth house eighth house gives the deep meditation okay transformation so these are the jyotir lingas that you need to go and visit here this is the mesharasi rameshwaram taras is somanath Gemini, Nageshwara, and Cancer, Om Tareshwara, Leo, Vaidhyanatha, Virgo, Mallika Arjuna, Libra, that is Tula Rasi, Mahakaleshwara, Scorpio, Virchika, Dushneshwara, Sagittarius, Kashi Vishwanatha, Capricorn, Bhima Shankara, Aquarius, Kumbha, Kedarnath, Pisces is Meena, Trembakeshwara. These are the Swami, how they look, the Shiva Lingas, the Jyotir Linga. This is very important. You need to remember Jyotir Linga, that is Atma Jyoti, Shiva himself. This Lingas is nothing but Shiva. There is a Shiva's complete consciousness, complete energy forms in these 12 places. Rameshwaram, Trembakeshwara, Vaidhyanatha. Grishnesha, Somanatha, Mallikarjana, all this one. Okay, we pray to the Shiva and we are asking all the blessings from him because he is, he is the only one who gave the knowledge of uh, astrology. Okay, do you have any questions? Any questions? No, sir. Thank you for good uh, sharing the good information, uh, information about the Jyoti Linga, called Jyoti Linga. Yes. If you are recommending someone, if you are asking to do pujas, you need to remember main things. Okay. First, look at the doshas. And how do you know the doshas? You don't know any doshas. Now, I started with the doshas today. How do you look at the chart? 
okay because as an astrologer we need to go deeper and deeper to see what kind of puja that you need to do it's a, we are a doctor okay okay you can scan something okay you have a tumor on your brain that's it that's it that you need to be operated or you need to be uh, rectify the problem you need to give the solution for the problem and you need to find where the solution is what kind of solution is what kind of treatment that you need to give that's why always i recommend for the for the pujas one must be upasana one must to do some kind of upasana some kind of diksha someone says okay i have done this puja sir it's not working because the medicine that you have taken is not working for you the two reasons one is the misguided there is a prashna you need to remember when you open the prashna last week two two three days ago i saw the prashna because of the bad medicine one of the person got serious illness in the body how do you know this one because of the medicine that they got poison and how do you know if you are not uh, going through the proper medication or a proper doctor you can tell about the doctor itself your doctor is not good enough to look and identify your problem through the prashna you can look at the chart you can tell to that person that because of you you got this problem if you make uh, any other prashna for the job for the uh, any 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 other jobs okay for the rent if someone is coming to you sir i i'm going to rent i have two person i don't know which one i need to choose so open the chart and you look at the renting thing and you can tell which one pays you very good rent we will make a lot of trouble in you how do you know this all these things first one uh, the rashi the second one is planet third one is the bhava the house without mastering remember this one without mastering you are wasting your time you are wasting your time master this one whatever you learn this classes you must master when you open this one you need to get it you cannot paste 64 chapters in your wall if someone is sitting in front of you you need to go through all this one and no it is to come inside practice some mantras practice some meditation accept something if you want a good in astrology okay you must be master in the fundamental course in the basic course no matter where you go for example if you look at the uh, uh, other 48 dasas i i we are talking about only one dasa right now because we are in the basic fundamental and i need to explain what is the dasa system also to look into deeper you need to find the problem if someone has the guru guru shapa someone has the patri shapa someone has the matru shapa like like the curse from the mother it's not the birth right now your mother is cursed very badly and you said okay you are this one that one no don't take and don't look at the movies and the harry potter things no there someone you hurt very deeply okay you will get the shapa how do you know someone is hurt uh, you got the shapa then you need to go through the lesson you need to go through the bhavas you need to go through the jupiter or our uh, planets without having the fundamental you cannot stand on the astrology so don't jump either and there uh, all the all the fancy uh, uh, names and you spend 10 days 15 days there and come back here don't do this one take your time and get skill like you need to be master on the fundamental and i'm betting you nobody could win your uh, prediction if you just open the chart the the thing needs to be come through your mind by your intuition by your guru blessings i bless you completely from my heart but that's not a matter you need to get ready for it take any one subject and stay there for a couple of months six month one year get master in it and don't look that book anymore leave it somewhere but for all this one that you need this basic fundamental thing i can open the chart i can tell by things and then you can ask okay this one that one but this classes doesn't understand anything at all because they are from the basic they are building their knowledge 
from from the from the scratches for the higher uh, conscious people or higher conscious students i'm telling you you, you take only one aspect or one uh, concept in your life build that one thoroughly go for it deeply and then you know at one point i am good i am great on this one and and then read but don't stop reading read and read and read make file that's the beginning lesson make file that means that you are doing something okay any questions can you speak a little bit about uh, pitra dosha when is it, when does it form what what uh, what is that what is it pitra dosha pitra dosha okay where do you see it look at look at the pitru uh we look at uh, we look at the ninth house ninth house who is the who is the karaka for pitru sun yeah two important things if the hmm. ninth house is uh, completely destroyed okay ninth lord is completely destroyed destroyed means he is a misplaced or in dustanas or sun is completely not connected with the ninth house if there is no aspect on the ninth house then is a pitru dosh is no aspect on the ninth house yeah no aspects from the benefits like a jupiter or venus or mercury if they are benefit for the lagna oh, okay okay minimum minimum three things karaka that is the karaka is the naisarga karaka visa the the the, uh, the primary karaka for the father i said said if you someone passed away you need to take that primary karaka that what we saw in the lessons okay at the car because these are the things that give the the idea of to understand the so ninth house we know because we know about the houses father is ninth house okay karaka son ninth house ninth lord the three things important to see and there is a two minimum malefics needs to be aspect there in the ninth house minimum two malefics and you can tell what kind of anger they got that's why they cursed you mars is anger Saturn is sadness. Rahu is shock. If these three planets or minimum two planets is connected with this one, and above I said before they they don't have any connection at all. Definitely this chart has the Pitru dosh. Okay. So what if uh, what about Ketu then? So Mars is shock. Mars is uh, sorry. Uh, Rahu is shock. Mars is anger, and uh, Saturn is sadness. and uh, what about ketu what is the ketu aspect ketu is a malefic but he does not have the head right so so there is a no uh, uh, thing if he is placed in the ninth house hmm. and if there is any connection between this one i said before okay not only minimum you need a two and before i said there is a no connection there is a sun must be good or the ninth lord must be in good place or he must be uh, aspecting there guru must be and you need to look at the positive and the negative and you need to give the points and find out so my ninth lord is sun and he is in aries exalted but okay. my ninth also has uh, uh, ketu okay that and means rahu is, is aspecting from the third house sorry rahu is aspecting from the third house yeah rahu is aspecting the sun and also he is aspecting the ketu yeah okay uh and mars is in my 7th house but mars is not aspecting the 9th house okay so saturn? does saturn is present in the uh first house okay and this is the 9th house so he is aspecting the uh uh 9th house right where he, saturn is in the first house no he is 10th 10th aspect saturn has a 10th aspect oh yeah yeah 10th yeah so only only uh, uh, not even uh, rahu rahu is aspecting ketu need and the lord of the ninth house is uh, exalted in the uh, this one and uh, also mars is not aspecting the ninth house because he doesn't have the third aspects where is the yes. jupiter jupiter is in the sixth house sixth house so he is not uh, he is not also having he don't have any aspect what about mercury mercury is with sun Uh, okay okay he is the second okay. venus venus venus, venus is also, also in the second okay 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 no doshas because we don't we found only one mm -hmm. also if you look at this one you are talking about the rashi drishti here 
Rashi Drishti doesn't apply. Why does it not apply? Because because we are looking at the aspects only. Who is giving the more uh, uh, more problem to the to the house mm -hmm. by aspecting the planet? We take the planet energy. Oh, okay, okay. So there is no dosha, no putra dosha there. Okay, no put, no pitra dosha. Okay, because an astrologer that I have gone to has said that there is pitra dosha in my chart. No, minimum two things we need to look at, and we need to look at the lord also. If there is any aspect on the lord also. Mm -hmm. No dosha, no dosha. Because of Ketu place there, no. But Rahu is also looking at him. So that's yeah, only, only one, one. Only one aspect there. Rahu is the only person is looking at the ninth house. Okay, okay. all right. That's and, why I ask uh, other, other benefits if there is any aspects. Also, Mars is not aspecting. He's in the seventh house. He doesn't have any aspect on the ninth. Yes. But, uh, the fourth aspect. He doesn't have any uh, third aspect. No three aspect. And Jupiter is not aspect. So there is a no thing in the uh, 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 what you say there is a no dosha for the for the pitru. Oh. so i have another question i was just reading about it i, I was looking at uh, swami uh, mahaperiyava's chart yesterday okay beautiful uh, he has uh, it, i read this i read up i, I looked at uh, mahaperiyava ji's chart in uh, pvr ji's book and then he has mentioned about uh, buddhaditya yoga mm -hmm. and uh, i was looking some more into it so, Buddhaditya Yoga is when Sun and Mercury are together. Yes. So, in my chart as well, Sun is exalted. Yeah. And he is uh, at around uh, 6 or 8 degrees. Okay. So, six no combustion, no combustion. Degrees. No, I don't see combustion or Graha Yuddha there. Yes. Yeah, Mercury is 23 degrees. Okay. So, I, I, so, so obviously, there is no combustion. But Venus is uh, uh, closer to Sun. Okay. So is one that degree, a, one degree? No, it's five degrees. Okay. Then there is a, no need to worry. Okay. So when is combustion? Minimum one degree plus or minus. Oh, maximum or minimum? Minimum, uh, maximum, Sorry, okay. maximum one degree. Okay. So, so can we consider this as a Buddha Aditya yoga? Yes. Buddha Aditya yoga. Buddha is not good for your lagna. It's Badha Kadipati. Badha Kadipati? Oh, okay. okay. There is a who, who makes a makes a trouble for you. That's called Badaka. So how how is he troubling me? He's so he's in my house. Yeah. How he is troubling me? Communication. How he is troubling you through the seventh house and tenth house, the job and then the partnership. He's sitting in the romance area. He has a complete Badaka for your uh, kids. So he's stopping the kids. He's stopping your rom romance. This is the thing, Badaka. He brings the Badaka there. So I was asking if he had any influence or he combust or, uh, or Graha Yuddha with the, with the sun, then he loses all the Badaka. So Badaka doesn't uh, more reflect it. But he is so very happy. Saying, so you're saying that the Buddha and Aditya, they are actually not helping together? Yes. Hmm. So in the fifth... so. So Mercury rules over communication and uh, creativity. Also, right? but he is he also. But uh, look at the Mercury, Mercury house, he, he, and Mercury with uh, along with other planets. So you need to make a complete map in your mind. So I'm trying so, to do that. That yeah, is my math. Yeah, it's okay. The communication. He gives the communication. When you when you talk about communication, you talk about the second house. Third house is the communication. Second house of speech. Okay, if, if we have communication, no, no, no. Listen, to you. Uh, okay, when you when, yeah, when when you look at the when you look at the planet and when you want to give this one, and hmm. main karaka main thing that uh, Mercury holds the communication. He's also okay. writer, he's also speaker, very good speaker. Okay, he also uh, uh, likes to argue, and look at the houses. Very important thing is also houses because the house owner owns this also. For your second house, Saturn is uh, holding the speech, even though he doesn't hold the speech, but he's holding the speech. Okay, third house is also communication. From your Lagna also, you need to look. So you need to look at the Lagna, you need to look at the second house, and the third house, and the Mercury, because he's the Karaka. If okay. you are not talking well, if you have a... Uh, uh, I, I forgot the... Uh, uh, 
this the speak that's the why we call this one stammering ah huh? stammer stammering. Okay. stammering okay if someone is stammering then you need to look to the second house important and then the mercury because he is the mm -hmm. karaka the both things you need to and then you need to find which kind of energy supports them to speak very well like okay. we how do you how do you support the second house is very good it's much easier to uh, uh, bring the energy in the second house or the or the wherever mercury placed for your chart i recommend for the second house because he's the mm -hmm. saturn is second and third even though he's yeah. not a, but he's a strong maraka for your house mercury mm -hmm. so i recommend i recommend the saturn thing okay vishnu sahasranam is simple for example small thing okay practice vishnu sahasranam towards okay. the saturn so it the uh, saturn saturn energy so i so i i i i chant rudram very uh, frequently mm -hmm. uh so does that help for uh, communication yeah i must i i rudram, don't rudram know. helps for everything he is a, a moksha karaka one yeah. yeah then there is a no question about this one and that when you put the chart away from your uh, table you chant rudram that's enough because yeah, only but... the vedic mantra which has given to the monks like a saint is a rudram only okay that much powerful it has okay hmm. so but i still see i have communication issues as in i i know sometimes so often i often when i speak and then sometimes i do tend to get into trouble i when i why? look back why why because i speak a little bit more than what i need to no i am very straight forward as a person no that's what you are thinking okay <laughs> look at the third house who is there rahu what he will do he pushes you forward yeah also he is uh, 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 out of the box uh, thinking okay also whenever yeah. you speak and then you will think okay you regret of your speech always why yeah. i did this one yeah because of the rahu comes back again so you need to promote the rahu you need to pacify the rahu you need to control the rahu also the saturn is sitting in your head so all this one comes to you so rahu mm. is in the aquarius the mm. flows us okay mm. if you want chandi or lalita sahasranama or or sarvamangala mangali seno for you okay so the durga sapta shloki sap sapta shloki much best so sapta shloki is good okay think about the communication and give it to the durga devi helps you mm -hmm. so so this is not definitely this is definitely not buddha aditya yoga no no okay because buddha is there is always in... yeah present in the ah, house okay. also also there is a yoga there but it is effective you are not for example we are getting the uh, in this in this planet sometimes we are getting a eclipse okay every year hmm. it's affecting me or not that's a question based on how do you look where you, it's a be based on the uh, geocentric point where you live where uh, which country you are based on if there is a moon or uh, sun is uh, going through your uh, your country okay but people are talking about uh, eclipse like that if you, even though if you know if you have the buddha aditya yoga in your chart how good they are what are the effective they have mm. most of the chart they have the buddha aditya yoga because the buddha mercury and like sun uh, sun Mer sun mercury venus they go closer together any okay. chart you look before and after the sun before or after mercury will be there always mm -hmm. mm. um so uh, sorry if i am asking too many questions but uh, yeah so uh, one more question that i wanted to ask is mercury is malefic when he is with malefic planet benefic when he is with benefic planet but yeah. in this case there is venus which is a benefic sun which is a malefic no, venus is not benefic for you he is the 6th and 11th lord he is a malefic for you excuse me ji i have one question because yes. we are not going to read the chat for uh, the colleague the, the friend who is talking uh, too much sorry but uh, i'm getting bored uh, okay. <laughs> so he's always talking too much i have one question because i'm learning the basics um so first of all you said there are each sign has nine padas right yes yes and um so the, the if you go back to the chart yeah i will just said walk on that ashini barani and kritika they have four four plus one padas right yeah 
I think we are here. For the next one, uh, there is different number. This is 12. So I don't understand Wait, one. This one, huh? No, the chart with the numbers and it was written Fadas and all that. Here. Yeah, this one. You see um, in Aries, uh, there are four plus four plus one, it's nine Fadas. Yeah. And is four padas, four padas, and first, second padas. I don't understand. No, each and every nakshatra has four padas. Yes. Okay. And this, the name of the nakshatra is Kirtika. So Kirtika, but we need to fill this one as the nine padas. So Ashwini has four, Bharani has four, and what we have left over is only one pada. So we took the Kirtika here. Kirtika falls in the Aries sign. That is the first one. Because Kritika Nakshatra has the four uh, uh, portions. Ah, okay. There are four portions. Inside each... Uh, sign has Kritika. the nine portions. Each sign has nine portions, but each Nakshatra has... Four portions. Four portions. So we keep only first Pada here. And no, no, the, no. Uh, not only one, because you can... Sometimes it goes to the one and two also. So one day what you need to see is is there is a uh, completed four nine padas here so ashwini is four barani is four that is eight the kritika okay. is one so it's completed here nine padas yes but the, for the second sign second sign if wh what is the kritika kritika is four pada so first pada went to the first rasi that is aries one the second pada third pada fourth pada here that's what it was written here ah okay okay that means two one if you need to count it one 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 that is three here and Rohini, all four padas, three plus four seven. is a, a seven. And Murugasirisha, that is other nakshatra here, one and two, that means first pada nine. and second pada, nine, you got it here. So everywhere is nine. For example, if you get confused here, four, four here, oh, it's a 12 nakshatras, no, yeah. 12 padas, no, no. Punar was a fourth pada, that is the only one pada here. Yeah. And look at this before That's one. Was... Yeah, sure. look at this one. First pada, second pada, third pada is in the, can, uh, in the Gemini. And this one is then the fourth pada. Okay. So thank you. Thank you. So uh, there will be one more class tomorrow. No. Yes, I need to write, uh, and some of them left the class. I want to make a class in the morning and the evening. If it is uh, okay for you, I will just text it to everyone in the group. Please mention me uh, probably in the morning, so we can finish this tomorrow itself. So I don't want to wait for one more week to go for one one session. So at what time in the morning tomorrow? I um, mean, 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, it's, it's up to us. Yeah, but 12 o'clock for you is 2.30 night for me. In the afternoon, huh? No, in the night. Midnight. No, no, for afternoon for me, it's a midnight 2 o'clock for you. Yeah. What about 8 o'clock in the morning? It's a 10 in the night. It's yeah? 10.30 in the night for me. So that is okay. Eh? Hmm. Okay. Then uh, what I said, 10 o'clock, huh? Okay. 10 o'clock is... 10 o'clock is 12.30. Okay. Okay. So um, it's a pandemic here. Everything is locked down. Maybe Monday I can think over Monday. I will just write it down. I will see how many of them coming are. Maybe I can send the video. For so one I of the can lesson. do 9 o'clock as well. I can do 9 o'clock in the morning for you. So it is 11.30 to 1.30 for me. 9 o'clock. Okay. I will I will keep it in mind. Also, I will, I will just uh, send a text to the group. So if... Uh, how many wants to come over in the nine o'clock in the morning? Okay. Let's see. Let's see, Shashanki. Otherwise, we need to, for this two hours, I need to go for the, uh, I need to wait for the next week. So it would be nice. Maybe the weekdays, any weekdays. Uh, let's see. Let's see what they are saying to us. But today is uh, enough. Uh, write down anything and ask me any questions. And tomorrow, the class is done. Tomorrow is the chart reading for everyone. No matter what. We are going to open the chart. We are going to ask the questions. Based on what we learned here, that is important. Based on what we learned here, I will I will hold your hand. We will walk slowly, slowly, slowly. So you don't need to worry about anything. Okay, we'll, we'll start from uh, one step by other. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much today for everyone. Uh, good night. I will, uh, will sleep. Okay, meet you. Me. I will send the text and then we will uh, see how it goes. Thank you very much. Ji. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.